So next question is question number 55. Using the Gibbs energy change delta G naught equals to plus 63.3 kilojoule for the following reaction silver carbonate decomposes to 2 Ag positive aqueous plus carbonate ion aqueous. The solubility product of silver carbonate in water at 25 degree centigrade is and the four options given are 3.2 into 10 raised to power minus 26, 8.0 into 10 raised to power minus 12, 2.9 into 10 raised to power minus 3 and the fourth option is 7.9 into 10 raised to power minus 2. Now in this question we have to find out this solubility product and as you know solubility product is an equilibrium constant. For any equilibrium constant the relationship between delta G naught and equilibrium constant is minus 2.303 RT log K. Now this K is here solubility product which we have to find out. Now see all the values given in the question delta G naught is given 63.3 kilojoules minus 2.303 R value is given in the question 8.314 joules but since delta G is taken in kilojoule it means we have to consider the value of R also in kilojoule. So divide it by 1000. T is temperature. In this question the temperature taken is 25 degree which is equal to 298 Kelvin. So put the value and calculate solubility product. When we solve these values the equilibrium constant log Ksp is coming out minus 11.09. It means if we have to find out the solubility product, then we have to take the anti log of 11.09. So it is anti log of minus 11.09. Now here the sign is negative. It means the power should be negative. And if we check the exact value of this 11.09, the value is coming out 8.0 into 10 raised to power minus 12. So the correct answer should be 8.0 into 10 raised to power minus 12. And this value is given in the option number 2. So the correct answer is option number 2. Our next question is question number 56. The weight of silver, atomic weight 108 displaced by a quantity of electricity which displaces 5600 milliliter of oxygen at STP will weigh. The first option is 5.4 gram, second option 10.8 gram. Third option 54.0 gram and fourth option is 108.0 gram. Now in this question it is mentioned that same quantity of electricity is passed and 5600 milliliter oxygen gas is evolved. 5600 milliliter that is equal to 5.6 liter. And 5.6 liter oxygen gas it means 1 gram equivalent of oxygen and its mass would be 8 gram. Now since in this question it is mentioned that same quantity of electricity is used for the deposition of silver. So here we can apply Faraday's second law of electrolysis which states that mass of substance deposited are directly proportional to their equivalent mass. Here it is mass of oxygen that is 8 gram mass of silver deposited we have to find out 
equivalent mass of oxygen is 8 and equivalent mass of silver is its atomic mass by valency which is 1. So if we solve this, the weight of silver deposited by same quantity of electricity is coming out 108. So the correct option must include 108 gram and this is the fourth option which is correct option. Next question is question number 57. Which of the following statement is correct for the spontaneous adsorption of a gas? First option, delta S is negative and therefore delta H should be highly positive. Second option, delta S is negative and therefore delta H should be highly negative. Third option is delta S is positive and therefore delta H should be negative. While fourth option is delta S is positive therefore delta H should be highly positive. Now see in this question it is mentioned that adsorption is a spontaneous process and as you know for any spontaneous process delta G should be negative. And since delta G depends upon these two factors delta H and delta S. It means we have to consider sign of both enthalpy change and entropy change. Now for the adsorption of gas entropy always decreases. So first of all see in the option whether delta S is negative or it is given positive. So first two option is having delta S negative. It means the correct option may be 1 or it may be 2. So we have to check the another criteria also. The another criteria is delta H. Now if delta S is negative then delta H should be highly negative so that the driving force of reaction would be decided by enthalpy change. It means the correct option is option number 2 not the option number 1. Delta S is negative and therefore delta H should be highly negative. This one is the correct option.